Okay, so this is the first part of my three-part tutorial on how to make a short animated film. And here we're going to be discussing pre-production, while the other two videos will deal with production and post-production. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to talk about developing and generating ideas. And while I could talk forever about this, that's probably not a good idea, so I'm just going to talk about mind maps. Um, so you can see here I've got a mind map of the vision that I just made five minutes ago. Usually I make these at the beginning of a film project, but I've just made this to demonstrate it to you. So you put the central idea in the middle, then you break that down into its subcomponents, and then in turn you break that down, those down into their subcomponents to develop the ideas. Uh, so you can see here I've broken the vision down into themes, characters, and story, and talent, which essentially means actors and equipment. Um, so for instance, I've got themes here, Nursery Rhymes, Jack and Jill, which is the basis of the storyline. Fragmentation is also there as a theme. And identity, or the importance of identity, is also down as a theme. Um, and I've broken the story down into Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3, or beginning, middle, and end. And you might notice, for instance, that you can have recurrent themes in your work. So next, you need to develop your character profiles and script. These stages are often drawn out and subject to many, many revisions. The last version of Division, I think, was 14.1, so you can drag it out as far as you want, uh, depending on how anal you are. 14.1, that's probably roughly 30 actual drafts, because there are several uh, revisions for each version. Um, so I usually print out my scripts and write suggested revisions on them, and also that way I can doodle my ideas on them. And they'll help you develop your uh, storyboard. The storyboard is essentially like a simple comic version of your film. Then after you've the storyboard done, you can put that storyboard to film, like add time to it essentially, and add some sounds to it so you really get those extra dimensions of, of, of your film and you can begin to see it becoming an actual film rather than just a storyboard. However, to make your animatic, you're going to need some video editing software. If you have a recent computer though, there's a good chance that it came with something like Microsoft Movie Maker or Adobe Premiere Elements or another equivalent. Have a look around your computer and see if you can find anything like that. After you've scanned up your images, the software allow you to import your storyboard, edit it together, and then add any special effects. Once that's done, you're ready for production, which is basically finding actors, recording, and animating. 